Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is my next episode with my buddy Darren Paltrowitz. Darren has a podcast called Paltrowcast with Darren Paltrowitz. It airs on over 90 stations, including television and other forms of media. He is a bro. We've become good friends. This was a little bit different. This was actually his suggestion. So we'll jump in this together and we'll see what I think of this band with my buddy Darren. Let's jump into it and let's find out. Okay, at your request, <laughs> which wasn't hard, this is a band called Otto Boki Beaver. Otto Boki Beaver. Beaver. And the track is called Yakitori. And so uh, this this band you do like, you are a fan of. Yeah. Do you know what Yakitori is? It's food, right? It's a delicious chicken dish in, in Japanese cuisine. And the lyrics are not what I thought they were. And the lyrics, when you once you look them up, make absolutely no sense but okay. hey dave girl likes them i like them kexp likes them bring it on joel roadie okay let's do it let's check it out Thank you. Discover new music at listenerpowered kexp.org. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was gold. Uh so, all right. So I was intrigued because her guitar is so high up. I'm wondering how she's playing it. It kind of reminded me of when people drive and you see them too close to the steering wheel. And I always think if you are gonna get into an accident, you do not have time to react. But anyway, she was playing the guitar. Throughout a lot of the song in the beginning, I was kind of wondering if she was actually a good guitar player or not, because she was just yeah. making noises and whatnot. And then she actually starts playing, and you're like, oh, she can play. So I'm like, it's it's very experimental. And I like experimental. Remember, I'm an art guy. I like modern art. I kind of do find a correlation between music and art. You can be a wonderful master at playing an instrument, and then you start playing kooky stuff. And that makes me intrigued to learn why, why you're doing it, with the exception of Yoko Ono. <laughs> well, Yoko Ono was a great conceptual artist. I disagree. Um, I can't. Do you ever see, watch a clip of Yoko Ono performing alongside Chuck Berry and John Lennon? It's, on, it, it's so sad. It. Well, the, what's the, so sad is is that he's John Lennon's idol, and he's finally playing with his idol, and you've got her screaming, and he's looking at him like. You got to be thinking in John Lennon's head, you've got one moment of like, I'm playing with the greatest human being in my whole life that I get to stand next to and play. And well, she's 
just totally screwing it up. <laughs> so either he liked that or he went, why did I bring you to the horse races with me? Your bad luck. Well, I see. Can the people watching this on the screen see the frozen screen of the the end of the Otoboki Beaver? Um, I would. I, I could always throw it up here. So let me okay go. throw it up because I see one of the best worst things ever as one of your recommended things of the twelve bars of YouTube. The bottom wow. right one that is Corey Feldman lip syncing on the Channel Nine Howard Stern show. Oh, and no, they can't see that. I can't see that either, actually. Th is that just on me? That's just you, yeah. Oh, man. I, I think that we need to do a bunch of Corey Feldman music video reactions because some of his videos, he thinks that it's high art and it's not. And I've never seen any of his music. I'm good friends with his manager, can, but I've never we, heard any of his stuff. Hmm? Can we watch a Corey Feldman video? <laughs> Sure. I will blow off my next appointment to yeah, watch. Yeah, all right, let me do a quick text message here and we'll watch it. Right, we give it a go. All right. Oh, oh there's more with this. Um, so with with Otto Boki Beaver. So the, uh, the the drummer was really great. I like that yes. guitar sound. Or sorry, that drum sound was cool. You know, as far as lyrics go, I usually do not like a track that continues with the same line over and over and over and yeah. over again. That means to me you weren't creative enough to do something different. With the exception of, I had a girlfriend that looks like a boyfriend I met in February or whatever. That is I've the got, greatest line in music. Oh, no, the killers. Yeah, yeah. I would have just kept repeating that too because coming up with it and telling your band the line that you just came up with, I mean, I would have spit out my Cocoa Puffs. That's amazing stuff. So so uh, that's my two cents on this. And if Dre Dave Grohl likes it, Maybe Dave should just stick with barbecue because uh, maybe he's not cut out for music. Their other songs are not really like this, but this is the gateway drug song to see whether or not you do like Odebogi Beaver. And it's okay that you're not a fan, but I was I, never I, into that like experimental phase with like punk. Actually, this is sort of punk to me a little bit. Maybe it is should... absolutely punk. A lot yeah, of the songs I... are more punk. Uh, the singer plays guitar on more things. Uh, other tracks but um it's the exact opposite of some of the japanese bands that you showed me today so yeah it's a little bit of life no no i'm i'm pretty intrigued we can listen to more anyway uh let's jump into some Corey feldman because the day is the day is short okay so the Corey feldman track that you're gonna want this was the one that went super viral it's called ascension millennium <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.